Is Liberty Dying Where You Live? Escape to Keene at freekeen.com. All right. Ready? Yep. So we're here at the City of Keene building. Um, Daryl and myself, two of the Shire Free Church ministers, they sent us a property tax bill, um, which amounts to over $3,000. This is for half of the year. The other half of the year, the property was owned by me. I gave the property to the Shire Free Church, so this bill was sent to the Shire Free Church. And since it's a church-owned property, it's parsonages, um, technically it shouldn't own any, owe any tax. They've got their rules which specify that, well, you can only exempt it from tax if you apply before April 15th for the full year. And so they're claiming that even if they were to exempt the property from tax, which they haven't done yet uh, because we haven't applied for it yet, but uh, even if they were to do that, then the, the pr property tax would still be owed. But from my perspective, and I think you would agree with this, Daryl, the, um, the church is the owner of the property as of halfway through the year, so I don't think it should owe any taxes. But nonetheless, I think that certain city services are valuable and should be paid for, like clearing the roads, for instance, snow removal, and you know, et cetera. We've outlined on this letter that we included uh, sent to the city of Keene's tax assessor to, and this will be posted at freekeene.com, but outline some of the things like road maintenance, public works, parks, fire protection, library, human services, some of the things that are services that might be desired in an open market, in a free market. Um, we did specify that they could disperse some of the funds to the Keene Police Department as long as those funds are not being used for the aggression against peaceful people that we know that Keene Police do on a regular basis. So we did cut a check for $1,431.21 instead of what they demanded, which was $3,045.13. So essentially cutting out the education portion because the education system here is a coercive education system. And uh, as a peace church, we can't possibly support coercion. So while I support education, uh, don't support coercive monopolistic education like the state offers. So basically we cut them about half of the amount that they were uh, they were demanding. I would consider it a request because I think that people should uh, treat the city people as though they are a voluntary organization. We need to move into a voluntary arrangement where they don't threaten people and threaten their homes and take their property from them. So do you believe that the city will put a lien against the property for the remaining $1,600? I don't know what they're going to do. Um, I've never done anything like this before, so I have no expectation. I mean, I imagine they're going to use aggression and threaten us, even though it is a church-owned property. Did indicate in the uh, statement to them that we will be filling out their form as a courtesy to them. You know, that they have their processes they want to go through and fine, we'll let them go through their process. But regardless of what their decision is, it's still church-owned property and we're going to continue to act as though, you know, it doesn't owe taxes. And I don't even understand how property could owe taxes in the first place, but regardless. Uh, I don't know if I've answered your question. I think you did. Okay. Anything else? That's it. All right. We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.